friends! Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys had a great and safe Halloween. I hope you had fun at your parties, and I hope you had fun eating all of your candy. Um, today, I know I'm a little bit late on the train, but I want to review first impression the Sultry palette. Um, ABH has been dropping palettes left and right. I think this year alone we got Soft Glam, Norvina, and now Sultry. Um, so I want to try this out. I haven't opened it. I've had this for about a week now, and it's just been sitting in my bin waiting for a review. So I'm so excited to open this and play with it. I've been tempted many a time. She looks the same as she did in her cart. She's super cute. I will say I peeled the plastic off the top of it. Um, it was really hard to peel off. It was super duper hard. Way harder than it usually is, but we're just going to jump into this. So it comes with the standard ABH brush, which aren't bad. They're a little bit scratchy, but they're not a bad brush by any means, especially this side is super soft. The blending brush is a little stiff. This one feels a little bit softer. Right, well, now that I want to look for it, I can't find one, but I definitely would say this one's softer. I mean, we haven't felt it on the eye yet, but it definitely feels really soft. So kudos to them and the packaging sucked me in. We've never had a glittery thing. They're always velvet, so it's really cool to see the glitter. And then you open her up, and we have a really nice cool tone palette. We have 14 eyeshadows in this palette, 7 shimmers, and 7 mattes, so that's super cool. It's pretty standard for her palettes. I have Soft Glam and Sultry right here. Now, let's see if I can open them together. So having them open side by side together, I do think that it looks a little bit similar. Um, but maybe it's a good sister palette. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to play with it now. Like I said, I haven't swatched, touched, done anything to this palette. I did swatch a couple in the store. I swatched Rose Quartz because that color is just screaming my name. Um, that, I think, is the only one I touched. So, without further ado, let's start putting it on my eyeballs. I have the rest of my makeup done. Um, I got a new haircut and color. Do you guys like it? It's a little bit ashy or a little bit gray. Uh, tell me what you think. I really, really like it, and I hope you guys really like it, because I only get my hair done once a year, so we're stuck with this look for a year. So, be nice in the comments, please. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to jump in. Sultry. I'm going to take the color Fresh right here all over. Ooh, I got some creasing going on. But we're gonna set my concealer that I should have done a while ago. Fresh is not really showing up great, but that's just because it's so close to my skin tone. So I love that she always puts a color like this in her palettes. I wish she had one that was a little bit darker, just so it would be the same type of look for every eyeshadow skin tone or skin tone for people to use as a base like this. I mean, twig down here you could probably get away with, but other than that, I feel like if you're much darker skinned than that, you wouldn't have a color like this. But it's really no big deal when I don't have a color like this. I usually jump into face powders, and I'm sure other people do the same thing. The first color I think I want to dive into is twig. It's a cool tone, like, transition taupe color, I would say. Um, We'll see how this applies. I'm just oh, we got some kickback, not a lot, but definitely a good amount of kickback, I would say. I uh, ooh, this is darker than I expected. I don't know if it's just me. This brush, this is my favorite brush for colors like this. It's my first brush for everything. Every transition color that I have meets this brush specifically. I've had it for over, like, oh god, when was I a freshman in high school? Like, seven years I've had this brush with me, and it's having a little bit of a hard time dispersing this color, which is really unusual for this brush, but as I'm working with it, it's getting better. It's just something I've noticed. All the color wants to stay right here. Do you see that? But it's blending slowly but surely. It could just be that maybe I didn't set my concealer 
white, right, and it's all sticking right here. I don't know. We'll see what happens on the other eye. Right, this eye is doing a little bit better, so maybe something is different about this eye, and it's not the formula at all. Now, by the end of this video, I want to conclude if I could only have sultry, soft glam, and maybe even modern renaissance, which one I would get. Right now, based off of the lineup, I use soft glam the most. I use that one a ton, but every time I use my modern ren, I fall in love even more. I love it. I'm a huge warm tone girl. This cool tone palette makes me a little bit uncomfortable with the shades, but I really like them so far. I think this has a lot of the icier, like lighter colors that I think Soft Glam needed. For me, when I do any type of eye, I really like a really, really light um, wash of shimmer on the lid. And with Soft Glam, I thought the options were too dark. So I feel like with these colors, you're getting a little bit better selection because you have the dark one here like Teak, and then you have Steampunk and Ember which are darker, but you have Cyborg and Rose Quartz and Pearl that are really really light. So I really like that about this. We'll keep playing with it and see what we think. So we're going to take a little bit of Birch right here, which did not have as nearly as much kickback as Twig. So I'm going to take Birch just at the same places. This brush is dirty. We're going to try another brush and birch. And now we're going to see what happens. If they like to layer together or if they'll stay away from each other, we'll see. It's crazy how much kickback I'm not experiencing with birch. Compared to twig, I thought this was going to be like a really dusty palette, but I'm really not getting much kickback at all with twig. And it could be that this brush is softer than my BH brush I just used. I don't know. <laughs> so diving into dystopian, we're having absolutely no kickback with this shade. I'm going to stamp that right in the outer area of the eye. It's placing color beautifully. This might be my favorite shade so far. There's no kickback and she's staying exactly where I put her. We have a good shadow right here. So what are you guys thinking this far? How are we feeling about this look? I am liking it thus far. I think I want to take it a step up and go in with Noir. Now, I know what I'm getting with Noir because it's in every one of the palettes that I own. Well, it's in... What is it in? I think it's in Norvina. I don't own Norvina. I can't speak to that. I'll look it up. I know it's in Soft Glam. I have it in Soft Glam. It's not in Modern Renaissance, but I feel like it should be, so... I've definitely played with this color. There's no kickback with this one. I, let's see. Diving into Soft Glam, let's just check. She's a little bit more powdery than this, um, Sultry, but she is beautiful. Very, very rich in color. Looking so pretty. Okay. I'm also not getting any fallout on my cheeks. I was worried about that because I did my foundation and everything and my blush and my contour and I didn't want it to be ruined, but I'm not experiencing absolutely no fallout at all. Nothing is on my cheeks. Usually to get these colors to really pop, I would cut the lid and apply the eyeshadow on top of the concealer. But, for testing purposes, I just want to take my finger, which is how I apply all of my shimmer eyeshadows most of the time. I want to take my finger, pack it on, and see what it looks like without concealer under it. And if I need to, I can wet my brush and blah 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 there on and so forth. But, mmm. Guys, do we want Cyborg 
or rose quartz. Rose quartz is the only one I've swatched and I can tell you it's beautiful. But cyborg is like calling my name super hard. I think we're gonna go with cyborg, which is crazy for me. Anyway, okay, so swirling in, she's got a lot of pigment. Oh wow. Wow. That was like one circle around the pan too. Oh my gosh. She's got some pigment that she does. Okay. I feel very festive in this look. I feel like the tinsel on your Christmas tree right now. Um, it looks so good. Let me get a different brush and just make sure it's seamless. I'm really liking this look. It's really glitzy. Definitely a lot. So I'm satisfied with the top of the eye right now. I'm going to get to the under eye and I'm going to grab a mixture of twig and birch. And we're going to start by just putting that underneath. Okay, I'm so sorry. Um, you didn't see me apply any eyeshadow on my under eye because my camera decided to die. But I applied some eyeshadow underneath and then I added some mascara and I'm ready for my final thoughts. We're not talking about the quality. The quality of both of these is incredible. I love both of these and I'm happy to have both in my collection, but if you are on a budget and you, or you're buying a Christmas present for someone and you could only pick one of these. I gotta give it to Soft Glam. Soft Glam, well, actually it depends on what you want. If you want warm neutrals, which is me all the time, Soft Glam just has burnt orange, sienna, rustic, cypress, umber, mulberry, and it just, it has it. Like, it has the it factor. However, if you already own Modern Renaissance, then my opinion changes to this because Modern Ren has these warm neutrals and it has a lot of the same colors as Soft Glam. But if you were going to get one out of three Soft Glam all the way, it's got warm neutrals, it's got your shimmers, your mattes, it's overall a great eyeshadow palette. If you already have Modern Renaissance, then Sultry all the way. Sultry would go so well mixing with them if you added, especially if you added any of these warm um, glitters over here on this half, it would be beautiful with it. But overall, I think if you are trying to get one, Soft Glam is great. If you're more of a cool tone person in general anyway, and this doesn't really speak to you, I feel like this really will. Overall, if you can afford it, I say buy a all because ABH makes some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. The only reason I didn't get Norvino was because I'm not, like, a purple girl. I have blue eyes and it usually makes them look green and I like to keep them blue. But, Sultry's really a beautiful palette. I really like it. This was $45 and this is $40. I think they're changing all the prices up to $45. I believe Norvina, the owner of the company, said something like, um... Pigment has gotten more expensive, so therefore they're raising their prices a little bit. But this palette actually has more grams in it than this palette, so I don't understand how they could put more in this, but and then raise the price of it and say it's because minerals are more expensive. Like, just tell me that this has more product in it and I'll be fine with it. But they're also giving you really nice packaging, but I do really like the soft velvet, I will admit. Either way, I think you're getting a really great bang for your buck. Really, any of these palettes are a good option. They look beautiful together. Tell me this is not super photogenic, because it is. Look at this, especially like these two? Oh my god, gorgeous. But, <laughs> anyway, this wasn't meant to be a I love ABH. I do love ABH. But if you have to get one, if you have this one, well, this is a great palette. It's beautiful. Everyone knows that. But this is a great everyday palette. This one, this one's a great everyday palette. This one is a great going out palette. 
and this is a great cool tone palette. So you can't go wrong with any of these. So that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this look in this tutorial. Well, it's not even a tutorial. It's more of a first impression. I hope we gathered our first impressions together well. Um, let me know which palette you would choose or if you have any of these ones, which ones are your favorites. Let me know if you disagree with me. That's fine. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!